It's estimated that among women aged 15 to 49 in Papua New Guinea, more than two-thirds have experienced physical or sexual violence at the hands of an intimate partner. One-third of women recall experiencing this violence in the previous 12 months. One of the ways that the state and civil society are trying to address domestic violence is through the use of family protection orders. A family protection order, also known as a restraining order or domestic violence order, is a tool used across the world to prevent or reduce domestic violence. In PNG, this avenue for protection became available to survivors in 2014 under provisions of the Family Protection Act. We've seen uh, some happy families walking around some of our clients and we know that it's, it's very useful. Protection orders, they, they are good, they help. They, it's, it's, it gives women time to take a breath from experiencing violence. Uh, when clients come to us, we, I have had the experience of seeing about a good percentage of our clients coming back with protection orders. Courts have granted those orders on the basis of the client's own testimony of the kind of violence perpetrated against them in their own homes. A family protection order is a civil remedy that can act as a pathway to protection and place less pressure on the applicant. There are two types, the interim protection order or the IPO, which can provide immediate security. The other is the PO or protection order, which can be imposed for up to two years. Although domestic violence is a crime, survivors face many challenges in accessing justice. The role of the police, with FSVU is to arrest, is to prepare the IPOs, is to, uh, at the same time, we become the protection officers, you know. And we also required to, you know, accompany the, the victim to the courthouse. We are required to accompany them to the medical uh, services to, for medical uh, uh, examinations, yeah. We dropped IPO, we obtained statement, we dropped IPO, and we registered the case at the courthouse. We served the summons to the perpetrator, and the perpetrator is uh, notified, went to appear before the court. And they appear before the court and the court decides on what, which conditions to give, what orders to give during the case in court. We play a very important part in terms of uh, assisting the, the survivors and also the victim of domestic violence. Uh, we we do some of the drafting of the IPO application. Uh, we also uh, assist them to liaise with our stake, uh, other stakeholders like the safe house, uh, safe house people and uh, counseling people. We direct them where to go after the court have issued orders. Uh, the other thing, we also assist them in issuing court orders. Some of them don't realize that there is a system in place now that can assist them. There's a new law that has been passed. I guess maybe ignorance of the law and that others have given up because they've gone without knowing that there are people in place who can assist them. They've tried on their own and have seen that it's been a waste of their time. Now, meeting one plan long or big plan, having me plan finding law is or work him. Osem long long area of the Highlands where also look down Lord Mary, only look down Lord Mary no got value now. This like so one blah long all passing to banana, passing Billy where only look down Lord Mary, so one blah every me black hat na plan the supporting or stuff law side level Mary na pigmen or helping long and very, very useful because nowadays the people don't know that I open high standards law, validation customs so over the Mary must submit. So time on Mary only is left for a long time now. Slavi or Karim Karim Gon or Ham and Lumi Plan, the time we plan, help him law, IPO, protection order. Miss and Lumi was in plant times, I help him. I'm helping because I'm making wicked boon blood man. On another line to also go to Lodge Lagan lifestyle, also campaign also to buy and walk out. So we plan like in this last. So that's where we plan. I'm a master, 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 I'm a master
complain sa kami all the time eh, sa minimizing because this way we plus a big on the picture of some woman was also been correct na all sa like lo making this lot of violence way all mama sa facing lot sa family and have some minimizing the other side research shows that family protection orders are being used more but the numbers of IPOs being issued varies a lot across PNG. Obtaining protection orders depend on access to district courts and to committed magistrates. Specialist family and sexual violence services, including safe houses, make a big difference by supporting and helping survivors. Many people think that when you come to seek protection order or come to court to, to take your, your husband to court or partner to court, you, are, you come and try to to separate them from, from the family. So that's why sometimes they have this uh, perception or thinking that they come here to, 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 when they come to court, we will issue orders for them to be separated. But uh, that is not the case. Orders are only issued to, to the perpetrators, not to further uh, commit any act of domestic violence, meaning insulting words or uh, assault or anything that is uh, defined as domestic violence under the act. The, the biggest challenge I see here is like, if uh, the, the, the perpetrator is the, the breadwinner in the home, sometimes uh, the, the FSB clients, they don't feel free reporting their husband because they're, they're the breadwinners in the home. So they suffer with the violence in their home. They suffer silently. They don't report. You find that they get the orders, they serve them, but when they breach, they don't come back, they, they're fearful. They know that this is where it's serious now, yes. and this is where he may end up in jail, or she may end up in jail. And so they don't come back, and they have their reasons. Um, only a very few will come back, yes. and those will be ones, those who are supported well by family members, yes. or friends, or maybe coming from the safe house, um, or the police is supporting them. But not a lot of them will come back for enforcement. The research suggests that while family protection orders are becoming more well known, the processes themselves are not well understood. Increasing awareness of family protection orders is important, but the system needs further funding and resources to respond to demand. Many believe the orders have made positive impacts on the lives of survivors. More than 80% of those interviewed who have obtained an IPO said they felt safer. There are, however, times of greater risk, for example, when orders are being served. Police have a critical role to play, but they don't always fulfill their role effectively. Having the police take action, in addition to family and church support, can improve the effectiveness of family protection orders and reduce the risk to victims of domestic violence. Caseworkers would work with the clients to ensure that they get the type of intervention they want. For example, if they want the police to arrest the perpetrator, then our client, our caseworkers would walk with the client to the police station record and show that um, crime is reported or the offence is reported, and the police to effect arrest. In cases where our caseworkers identify risks and urgent risks or high priority cases, then. The clients are referred to the safe house so that they are safe until the um, um, orders um, obtained in their favor. All those networking partners, they've been trained how to, to drop IPO. It's, it's, really, it's, it's really making the job easy. Family protection orders aren't always effective in protecting survivors of domestic violence. Yet, despite the challenges facing all those that work to ensure their continued safety, there is a sense of confidence that the orders are making a difference. <laughs>